in a world where carbs are your enemy, you need one man to help you fight your battles. That man is Jimmy. Combating nutrition, disinformation, and general bull. It's Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com. up you guys welcome back to another instagram live and we're here with another episode of jimmy rants jimmyrants.com is the website and as always if you want to engage live in the content you got to go follow me over on instagram live i'm at living low carb l-i-v-i-n i split the script look there we go L-I-V-I-N-L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-A-N. Once you're there, you can engage live content, just like all these amazing people flipping the camera on. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here today on Jimmy Rants. If you missed the live, you can watch it on replay for up to 24 hours. After 24 hours, it does disappear. You'll need to pop on over to YouTube, type in a keyword search, Jimmy Rants, or you can just go to youtube.com slash man. Finally. The best of the best moments of this year's show. We got a podcast for you. It's called Jimmy Rand's Podcast over on Apple Podcasts as well as Stitcher. All of these links, you guys, are at jimmyrants.com. And yes, Jordan, I am feeling better. Thank you for asking that. Today's Jimmy Rants. My nemesis is back. So I've been teasing for a little while that I wanted to do uh, a tire flipping session here on Jimmy Rants. Uh, back in the fall last year, I was flipping tires like a madman, um, and I got out of the habit of it. And I'm about to enter this six-month sabbatical, and I'm committing not just to flipping tires, but lifting heavy weights. And so I am currently wearing, let's see if I can pull up my shirt so you guys can see it. I am wearing a continuous glucose monitor. So that's called the Freestyle Libre. And a lot of people freak out when they work out and they do a really what's called glycolytically demanding type of workout, like flipping a tire like I'm about to do. Um, they freak out because their blood sugar goes up. And so blood sugar goes up for a very good reason. You're dumping glycogen stores. That's why it's called a glycolytically demanding workout. When you're lifting heavy and you're doing it at a quick pace and you're taking you know, breaks, that's what a HIIT workout is, high intensity interval training. And so you're gonna see a temporary spike in my blood sugar. And you guys that follow me on social media, you know I've been posting on Instagram in my stories, every hour on the hour today, I am testing both blood ketones and blood sugar um, to show you what happens throughout the day. So I thought it would be fun. I'm in a fully fasted state, have not eaten uh, since late in the day yesterday. Um, and so I'm in a fully fasted state. What a workout does to your ketone levels and to your blood sugar levels, and I'm doing it at 8.54 in the morning because it's the coolest part of the day in South Carolina in the month of July. Um, and it's a beautiful day out here today. Got wide open green grass, just, just mowed it the other day. So who wants to see me flip that darn tire and do this HIIT workout? Uh, because Christine is still asleep, I'm going to try not to grunt too much. Um, those of you that have watched me before, you know I like to scream towards the end of it because uh, it gets me 
the energy to and the adrenaline to push it one more. So what I'm gonna try to do on camera with you guys is I'm gonna try to flip the tire 10 times, okay? And then I'm gonna go 10 times back and 10 times and 10 times back in between taking an obligate amount of breather. And when I feel like I've caught my breath again, I will go again. This shouldn't take very long, but it's gonna be very uh, boring, I suppose, to watch. <laughs> going down, going back, going down, going back. I'm gonna to try to do 10 rounds of 10 flips. Now keep in mind, I haven't done this in a little while, so I'm not really sure where my uh, strength level is. I'm pretty sure it's still there, but mm, I don't know. We're gonna find out, and you're gonna find out on camera here today on Jimmy Rants. So I've got my little contraption set up so that you guys can see. You might get a, a picture of my butt early. I apologize for that. Um, but I'm gonna set you down now in the little holster. So you should be able to see everything as we do the workout. And if you're just joining us, yes, we are outside today. Jimmy Moore is about to get his tire flipping on. Uh, and we're gonna see what happens um, since it's been a while since I've done this. And we're gonna see what happens with blood sugar and blood ketones, not just in the moments after uh, finishing it, I'll post that later, but also in the hours after. I want people to see blood sugar doesn't stay up. Blood ketones don't stay down. They do come back and actually get boosted. So, you guys ready? Let's do this. Too. And if you're joining us late, do not adjust your screen. You do see a wild man flipping a tire because that's how we roll. <sighs> Feels good though, guys. I'm gonna grab some water. Hit training, dilly dilly. Two down, eight to go. Wish me luck.
four. That gets harder. <laughs> if you're just joining us late, yes, your humble host, Jimmy Rance, is torturing himself today. But it's all good. It's for a good cause, dilly dilly. Four down. The breathing is a lot more labored, but that's normal. very wet out here too this early in the day so getting a grip on that tire is a little more challenging but we're gonna make it work here we go number five It's getting hard, guys. Four more. Four more to go. I'm over halfway. Number seven, still breathing hard, gotta go though. Thank you. 
Okay. I'm done. Eight rounds. I will take that. I was hoping to go 10, but eight it is. Okay, guys, let me grab my breath. Dilly dilly. Okay, I ended it at eight, because I start getting dizzy. And you gotta pay attention to what your body's telling you. That last rep was extremely hard. And there's no shame in setting a goal for 10 rounds and then only going eight. So yes, I actually have an oxygen tank over here, Tiger. Not for this purpose, but it certainly wouldn't be a bad idea. And it's okay. I'm happy to breathe heavy, heavy because it's for a good cause. So, this is what I'll be doing during my sabbatical. So, why not get in the habit of it now? And if you joined us late, yes, Jimmy Moore was flip, flipping a friggin' tractor tire in his yard. And it's quite the workout. If you've never done HIT training, uh, H-I-I-T stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And uh, let me set this down here so I can pull my gloves off. Um, so High Intensity Interval Training is where you go all out for a period of sets. Most people like to sprint. Jimmy Moore's not a sprinter. I would much rather flip a tire than sprint. So... You do it for a period of time, all out effort. So when you guys saw me flipping the tire, that was me literally going as fast as I could to get my heart rate up, which happened, my breathing up, which really happened, and then activating all of those things in your body that respond well to that kind of workout. So obviously dumping a lot of glycogen stores because that was both lifting heavy, which you don't get from doing sprints, along with doing it fast. So I got a cardio and a weightlifting workout, resistance training at the same time, which is why I love flipping the tire. Now, when I last left you guys, I was easily doing 10 sets of 10, um, but that was, uh, well, I quit doing it when Christine got her shoulder surgery. So that would have been mid-October last year when I stopped doing it and I've just been out of the habit of it so very happy to get back into it wanted to show you guys here today on Jimmy Rants that this is a easy workout uh, easy relatively speaking that is meaning you don't have to spend a lot of time look how quickly that workout went uh, the 10 flips took about 30 or so seconds and then the rest periods was about a minute and I did eight reps. So that was eight times 30 seconds um, is 240 seconds, um, which is four minutes. And then the rest periods between each was about a minute. So that was seven on top of that. So in about 11 minutes, I got a full body workout. I got a cardio workout. I got resistance training and it's all done in 11 minutes. And then you only do that a couple times a week, two, three times a week. So could you in just over a half an hour a week commit to doing three of those kind of workouts? I don't know anybody that wouldn't want to do 30 minutes, 30-ish minutes a week to improve their physical condition. So it's why I like flipping a tire. It's why I like 
adding it to my ketogenic lifestyle. And keep in mind, guys, I am in a fully fasted state too. I have not eaten since yesterday afternoon. So doing that in a fasted state makes all of those metabolic effects all the more effective. So if you're not doing something even as simple as flipping a tire, let me encourage you to do that because I think it will re reap huge benefits in your health. Now, obviously, if you have any contraindication to movement, that's going to be a totally separate issue. But for those of you that are able-bodied and you don't have these physical uh, conditions that would limit you, give it a go. There's certainly no downside in doing some sort of physical activity in your life. And I'll tell you guys, it's going to enhance all of those benefits that you're trying to do with keto. If you could add in movement to it as well, man, Johnny bar the door on the benefits that are going to happen in your life. There's anti-inflammatory benefits. There's blood insulin lowering, fasting insulin lowering benefits, uh, inflammation lowering benefits. There's just so many good things. Plus you feel better. You feel stronger. You get more cardiovascular uh, health. Um, you improve your conditioning. There's just so many good things that happen when you add this into your life. And, and I'm the first to admit it, guys. It's easy to fall out of the habit of it. Uh, but I'm going to encourage you here today on Jimmy Rants to fall back in the habit of it. And if it means you get out, you go find you a tire, which, by the way, I got that tractor tire from a tire store. I remember going, I wanted to buy, I wanted to get one. And I went to a, a tire store. And I said, hey, I'm uh, here. I'd like to buy a tractor tire. He said, how many you need? I said, oh, just one. Oh, you must be one of those weird flipping tire guys. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Uh, and he's like, well, knock yourself out. There's a whole graveyard full of them out back. So I go out back and he wasn't kidding. Thousands upon thousands of them just sitting there rotten. So I got some from the front part that had not rotted yet. And I found that bad boy. Now, that's a big tire, but I'm a big boy. Find a tire that suits you. Uh, you want it to be very challenging when you first get it because you're going to get strength really fast from flipping it. When I first started flipping that one, it was all I could do to go four or five rounds of 10. And I haven't done this in a little while, and I just did eight rounds of 10 relatively easily. The first four were really easy. Those last four were a little more rough, but... Do it. You'll be glad you did. All right, I want to see what you guys have to say. Welcome in, welcome in. Who's ready to see Jimmy Moore do a fasted tire flipping hit workout? If you missed the very beginning when I did that, go back and watch the replay because, uh, yeah, uh, it's quite the workout, as you'll see. And I did give you guys a few of the screams that I typically do. So, uh, Gerald says, what time do you prefer to do hit? When it's not hot, uh, Gerald. Um I remember when I first started doing these last year, it was in the middle of August. It was like early to mid-August in South Carolina with humidity. What was I thinking? I remember the very first time I flipped that tire, it was 96 degrees. The sun was bearing down and it was all I could do to breathe. Just the air, much less flipping a tire, but to just breathe. So I didn't make it very far that day, but we learned the lesson of doing it late in the day where the sun was going down and it was a bit cooler and there was lots of shade over there where I flipped the tire or do it like I did this morning, early in the morning. The problem with the early morning is there's so much wetness on the ground from the dew. Um, it was a little bit hard to grip the tire as you guys saw me struggling at times to get that grip. Uh, Gerald said, I usually do it one hour before eating. Yeah, I like doing it in a fasted state. So I'm very well fasted today, I promise you. So whatever glycogen stores were in my muscles, I'm pretty sure they have been dumped. Now here's the key. I'm about to test my uh, blood sugar and my blood ketones here very soon because I'm doing every hour on the hour at the bottom of the hour all day long, blood sugar and blood ketones. Go look at my Instagram stories, you'll see them. But I will predict now my blood sugar will be up from what the last reading was because you just dumped all of that glycogen into your bloodstream and people freak out about that. That is completely normal, but it's transient because that blood sugar will get out of the body. The result will be blood sugar will come down within the next few hours, probably as soon as next hour, blood ketones, while they've been on the low end for me on the meter, will see a boost in the blood ketones. So let's see if that happens. That's what's supposed to happen, but we don't know till we see. 
Uh, you make it look so easy, says Wycath. Well, I've done it a little bit, so uh, it is challenging. Um, the early ones aren't as challenging. The early ones, relatively speaking, are pretty easy. That first one, I got down there and I wasn't really out of breath at all. So that's a good sign that I, my conditioning was still pretty good. By the time I got to the third one, I was breathing a little heavier. By the time I got to the fifth one, and by the time I got to the seventh one, I was already getting a little bit dizzy, you guys. I wanted to do that last rep for you guys, the number eight, but I, had, I got dizzy on that seventh one. And I knew it was at that point, eight was gonna be my last one. Um, love doing HIIT fasted, you burn more fat. Exactly, that's the whole reason you do a HIIT workout in a fasted state, is you tap into those body fat stores. Uh, Linda says, I wish I had your drive and enthusiasm for life. I'm having a couple of cranky days. Don't know why so watching you as you always cheer me up. Dilly dilly. Well, Linda, um, can I be full disclosure, honest with you? Yesterday was a really horrible day for me. And I did one Jimmy rants, uh, right around 11 o'clock and talked about a little bit of this stuff. Well, after the Jimmy rants was over, uh, those feelings came back. And so I don't always have cheerful days. I sometimes need to have that boost from friends and family that could help me as well. So don't think you're all alone, Linda. Um, you do make a choice about how you feel, uh, but sometimes those feelings can become so uh, overpowering that it's hard not to let them encompass you. It's something I have to struggle with and deal with even on a daily basis myself. So don't think I've got it all figured out. You're not in, uh, in this by yourself. There's a lot of people myself included, that deal with that as well. So proud of you. Thank you, Miss Chris. Appreciate that. Speaking of dilly dilly, dilly dilly. Rehydrate, but not just rehydrate. Make sure you get electrolytes back into your system as well after doing a workout like that. Beth says, I thought I could see loss from your last talk, but seeing you in clothes similar to when I met you, I definitely can see it now. Yeah, I'm down. Um, well, yesterday I gained some weight because of the stress yesterday, uh, but I'm down about 25-ish pounds since May. So you saw me in about early May, uh, Beth. So yeah, I am down from that, from that point. Um, you're making me tired, says Wycast. Well, um, Brittany says, yes. Thank you, Brittany. Um, can't wait to see the blood results, says Wycath. Yeah, um, I just had a whole battery of tests run by a functional medicine guy. Uh, remember that video I did with Christine going to see Dr. Gus Vickery, uh, and we went over all of her numbers, and we, uh, we did it live here on, on Instagram Live, Jimmy Rants, and then I posted it on YouTube, and I posted it on my podcast. Well, he's about to do the same with me. He ran a whole battery of tests in early July, so after a couple of months of me slowing down, interesting results, you guys. So you definitely wanna tune in. I go see him on Tuesday next week, and we're gonna to try to Instagram live that, uh, which will be him and I uh, basically bantering back and forth about my numbers. And we're gonna talk about the sabbatical and some of the things that I can do on the sabbatical that will improve those numbers that are a little bit off. There are some numbers that are off, thus the sabbatical, but there's some interesting numbers that got a whole lot better too that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Be careful, you're getting red. Yes, I got quite red out there, um, but I don't hold my breath when I lift, so I don't, I don't know. Don't hurt your back, uh, says Bonnie. No, 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 I've, I've learned how to lift that pretty well. You're supposed to bend at your knees and get your butt almost kissing the ground when you're lifting it. Um, that's supposedly good form. Um, but I know it does, it does tend to sag a little bit when, uh, when you get towards the end. Um, <laughs> Brittany says, make that tire your B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> That's funny. Kimberly says, you're the man. No, you, you the woman. Um, so glad you're lo looking after you, Keto Purple Owl. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. And even before I go away, I'm trying to get into some of these habits that I'm gonna be doing while I'm gone. And I think we often forget, you don't just suddenly go into a habit. You've got to create that, that cycle of, okay, this is a part of my life. So if I can do that 
here like five weeks out from going away and get this as a part of my life, a part of what I'm already doing, then come the first of the year, making all these changes, first of the sabbatical, um, making these changes won't be that difficult because I'll already have been doing them. And I'm already seeing good results even now. How many more results will I see once I'm in that habit and I'm full bore for six months going straight at this? That's the exciting part of it all. Um, kick that tire's booty, says Lindy. I did. Um, he makes me feel like working out. Well, Bonnie, mission accomplished. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Why Cass said I'd have been on the ground long ago. Yeah. Um... Thank you guys for all the well wishes. That was really awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if I could flip that tire once. Well, Miss Kimberly, you're going to be here in a few weeks. I'm going to have to get out there and try to flip it. See you open your mouth. I'm going to make you flip the tire now. <laughs> have you ever thought about lifting too? So Bonnie, yes, um, I just did. Lifting that tire. The tire doesn't look heavy, guys. That tire is probably... 80, 90 pounds, maybe. Maybe it's even more than that. It's heavy. Let's put it that way. So when I'm lifting that tire, I am lifting. So don't, don't mistake that flipping the tire is not really doing any lifting. That's a lot of lifting. If you've ever tried to lift a tire before, a big tire like that, incredibly um, heavy. But to your end, uh, to your point, yes, I actually, during the sabbatical, um, and I talked about this on social media last week, my uh, church that I go to in Black Mountain, North Carolina, they just recently put in a total fit gym right on the church grounds. It's, it's as far as they know, it's the very first church that has ever had a gym on the grounds of a church. And so I showed pictures all over social media that have all this weightlifting equipment. The pastor of the church is a friend of mine who's also a personal trainer and a ketogenic specialist. Uh, Trent Holbert is his name. And so, yes, during the sabbatical, I will be doing full-on total fit uh, type of workouts and getting stronger. Um, so, yes, to an the answer to your question, yes, I have thought about, and yes, I will be. So, thank you. Tiger says, I wish my family would understand why my weight come off, won't come off even when I'm working out hard at the gym. It's, it's difficult. I mean, people look at me, and, they, and I get a lot of hate, you guys, as you well know, um, for the way I look. But I double dog dare somebody to tell me I don't try hard in my diet, that I am lazy in any way. Um, I'll run circles around uh, people with my work ethic, but that doesn't matter when you don't look the part. So I'm a little bit over it now. Um, people judging because of the way you look um, and you shouldn't worry about it either. Miss Chris says, did you take your blood pressure? What was it? My pulse and blood pressure will be through the roof. You're the man. I'm so inspired. Well, I'm not worried about my blood pressure. Um, obviously, in the midst of doing a workout like that, your blood pressure is going to go up. Um, your pulse rate is going to go up. Your heart rate is going to go up. All of those things are perfectly normal. But now here I am about 15 minutes since I ended the workout, 15, 20 minutes. And you can see I'm breathing fine now. I'm, uh, my heart rate is back down. Yes, yeah, back down again, um, and all things are working well. That's normal. That's a totally normal response. Um, Bonnie says, I, I'm never crabby, but I've been so tired lately, probably low in salt. If I work out, it probably would help. You're inspiring. Yes to the salt, yes to the working out, uh, and yes to keeping a positive attitude. Brittany says, I'm on the way to the gym now. Will you go, girl? Flabby to fit foodie. Finally, someone who shares information without something like sounding like a know-it-all or jerk, belittling followers or being condescending. Thank you, Jimmy. That's not my style. Anybody that watches Jimmy Rants knows I'm just the opposite of all those things. Um, I am the first to tell you that I don't have everything worked out. I'm the first to tell you that I'm still trying to get into various habits. I mean, if I don't do something I'm telling you about, I'm going to tell you I don't do it or I don't do it as often as I'd like. So thank you for that, though. Um, your recovery time will be awesome. Miss Chris, I, I think it will be, and I'm really excited. Holistic Ketosis says, stay hydrated. Dilly, dilly. 
All right, guys. So the bottom line is Jimmy Grants. Jimmy Rants, you got to see yours truly doing a flyer, uh, a flyer, 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 a a tire flipping workout. Try saying that like real fast, tire flipping workout. Um, it sounds like flying flipper flipper. Um, on camera so you guys can see what it looks like. And I think hopefully today this looked like it was something that is doable. Maybe not that intense. Maybe you like sprinting. So we have that road that I flipped the tire down. There's a stop sign on both ends and it goes downhill one way and uphill the next. And that would be a great thing if you love sprinting to go from like stop sign to stop sign. But if not, just mark off some territory in some street, maybe go to a park and just run. And you run all out for 30 seconds, then you kind of rest, walk back at a slow rate, get your heart rate back, get your breath back, and then go all out for 30 seconds and then slow down, break. You see what I'm saying? And do like eight to 10 of those. By the time you get towards the end of it, you should be so out. You should be so de uh, depleted of your glycogen. When I got to that eighth round, I knew, okay, it was time to tap out. And you listen to your body. And that's a great way to do it. Berkeley says, haven't exercised yet. My blood pressure dropped dangerously low last year or excuse me, on the last day of my fast, uh, so I'm waiting to exercise. Um, so, here's what we do. We do Jimmy Rants. We try to do this often, you guys, here on Instagram Live. So go follow me over at jimmyrants.com, and you'll see that this show starts off on Instagram Live. So go follow me there. I'm at Livin Low Carb Man, L-I-V-I-N-L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-A-N, once you're there, you can engage live in the content, just like all these awesome people did here today. Thanks for being here today, you guys. If you missed the live, you can watch it on replay for up to 24 hours. After 24 hours, it does disappear. Pop on over to YouTube, type in a keyword, search Jimmy Rance, or just go to youtube.com slash living low carb man. Finally, the best of the best moments of this here show, we got a podcast for you. Not this one, though. This will be a totally boring podcast in the middle of like 10, 11 minutes of... Uh, uh. That would be a horrible podcast to listen to. What in the world is that guy doing? <laughs> so uh, the podcast is over on Apple Podcast and Stitcher. All of these links, you guys, are at jimmyrants.com. So until next time, dilly dilly. We'll see you then. <laughs>